Good afternoon. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about Tropical Storm uh, Fred and its approach to Bay County and the Panama City area. Uh, effects uh, should start around 2 a.m. tonight and there's a 60% chance of, um, of sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, uh, possibly greater. Um, more like um, Hurricane Sally event than a Hurricane Michael event. So that's what we're expecting. Lots of rain, uh, six to 12 inches of rain uh, is expected with this storm. So if you live in an area that may be affected by flooding, you might want to seek higher ground. Uh, the county has placed sandbags at um, two locations, um, Pete Edwards Field, located on the beach, and the northwest side of the Deer Point Dam. Uh, municipalities will have some locations uh, where they'll be uh, placing sandbags also if you uh, desire to get these sandbags. Uh, one thing that you need to remember if you're coming to the county sites, you need to bring your own sandbags and uh, your own shovel. There are no plans to open a shelter in Bay County at this time. We can mobilize uh, our folks very quickly if uh, we need to open a shelter. No evacuations are planned for this area. Uh, we, like I say, we are considering it's mostly a rain event, although we will have some sustained winds over about a 12 hour period. Uh, that information uh, that you need uh, can be accessed on Alert Bay. Sign up for Alert Bay and you'll get the, uh, the um, warnings and uh, information as, as quickly as we can put it out. And also on the county social media channel. That's all. Chair. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, just want to remind everyone, please do not call 911 uh, with any Tropical Storm Fred updates. You're more than welcome to visit the Bay County Emergency Services Facebook, Twitter page, and also baycountyfl.gov uh, for answers to frequently asked questions. Uh, Bay County offices, including the tax collector, the Bay County Commission, supervisor of election, the property appraiser, and the courts will all be closed to the public tomorrow. Uh, we have gotten notification from the superintendent of schools that all Bay District schools will be closed tomorrow. Um, Bay County Public Works and utility employees, they continue to go out throughout this whole weekend to ensure that all of our stormwater outfalls and ditches are cleared. Uh, we've also began the process of lowering the Deer Point Reservoir uh, starting yesterday uh, to try to get those all down. Uh, for the most updated information about Tropical Storm Fred, please sign up for emergency notifications at alertbay.org. That is alertbay.org. Uh, you may also follow the Bay County Emergency Services on Facebook, Twitter, or if you don't have social media, visit our website at baycountyfl.gov. Share for. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon. Uh, we've most certainly in this community been through a lot worse than what we're expecting uh, from this storm, but that is absolutely no reason to be uh, complacent. As we saw uh, over the past couple of years with uh, Hurricane Sally and the, and the extreme flooding that we saw from that, those conditions can still be very hazardous. Certain areas are prone, more prone to flooding than others, and it can certainly cause some serious issues. So what I'd like to ask people to do is, one, one prepare. This is a good, good run to be prepared for storm as we're entering the height of, of hurricane season, but also to stay off the roads. When we have heavy rains, it becomes dangerous to travel on the roads. Deputies will be, be out working um, in the field along with our partners at the police departments and, and fire. And EMS, uh, but the less people that are on the road, uh, the better, because we do expect very heavy rains uh, from this storm. We'll have our high water vehicles out that are uh, pre-positioned in those areas that we know are prone to, to serious flooding so we can uh, get emergency services to people if, if it's needed. There's also always the question about the bridges and whether the bridges are going to close them or not. I've already been in contact with the Florida Highway Patrol. Uh, the state makes the decision uh, on the bridges, but there is not a set mile per hour. It's basically a, a determination if they're not safe to pass anymore. Given the current predictions on this storm, I don't anticipate that happening, but we will be monitoring uh, those conditions closely. But again, uh, you know, it's important that you stay up to date on information, that you follow our so social media feeds at the Sheriff's <coughs> Office and Emergency Services, and very importantly, to subscribe to Alert Bay. That's where we push out that very uh, critical and important information, not just for this storm, but year round when we have a, a law enforcement or event or other storm related event or even school closures and things like that. That's where you can uh, really get that most up to date information. But be prepared. Uh, Try to stay off the roads tomorrow. 
if you can, and, and uh, we'll get we'll get through this. And appreciate everybody's cooperation in this, and appreciate our emergency responders that are going to be out there uh, working in this tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, we can open up for questions now. Sure. Uh, do you guys expect that school to be closed just Monday, or could it be closed, you know, for a couple of days? That's a school district uh, decision. I think based on the forecast that we've seen that uh, it, it appears that the storm will be uh, clearing out by Tuesday morning. Again, those, you know, it's something we're gonna have, have to watch and, and, and keep up to date on the most recent forecast to, to make those decisions, but the school district will make that call. Anything else? All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.